Anthony Crimmins, stick star lacrosse, component-based and structural methodology. Pillar eight, the wind-up. At stick star, we believe that the wind-up is the most important move for a dominant athlete. And we also believe that it is the most important move for a beginner because it's something that everyone can do and have success with. This is Pillar 8, the wind up. So the wind up. Essentially the wind up is one, two, three, moving your feet. If you're a dominant player, we think that there's advantages to being on this side of the field, just like in box. So the righties are over on this side of the field and the lefties are more on that side of the field. For this skill set, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go one, two, three, and now you're gonna start to move your feet and get athletic. Ultimately, the reason why we like the windup is because you're getting to the middle of the field. You're not losing your angle. When you dodge down the alley, you're losing your angle the entire time. But when we wind up, we can get under or we can get over, but the entire time we're improving our angle, getting to the middle of the field. This is the wind up. So the wind up, we're going to add one, two, three with our foot movement to begin. Arms are up, at one. We bring the stick two, through. Then we're gonna take it away. So our arms are up, at one. We bring them through, to two, three, out to space. But what we're gonna add is a crow hop. We wanna be athletic. We want our arms to be up. It's gonna be a dynamic crow hop. Now we're bringing our sticks up from one, getting that bottom hand through to two, and then out to three. And now we're going to be getting under. Things to consider. First off, we want to make our move away from our man. We don't want to be right next to him when we do this. We want to allow for some space. For a dynamic player, after you get to three, it's all about getting to full speed as you work to get under and to the middle. This is winding up and getting under. So another way to wind up and get under is utilizing our drop step. I believe this is a defensive offensive move. And this is for everybody. It's for goalies, it's for middies, it's for defensemen, offensive players for sure, but definitely for goalies and defensemen. So your hands are up, you're ready to wind up, right? As you plant and you're athletic with your crow hop, you're going to plant on this foot and drop this foot all the way through. Now the stick is once again getting to two. So our hands are up. Now we're just getting it to two, but a different way. I drop step, take it to two, and now I can get to three. We're trying to get our defensive player, or just our opponent in general, onto our hip, right here, getting contact. That's why it's defensive, because you can do it at any point. So my hands are up, I drop step into two, get him on my hip, get the stick away, and now I can get back under. This is winding up, drop stepping, a defensive, offensive move. So, winding up is a dance where you're going under and you're going over. You want to work to get under so that ultimately you can work to the middle to get over as well. So, when we wind up to get over, we're going to, again, athletic stance, hands are up, and when we crow hop, we're going to try to find the edge of our foot, right? The edge of this upfield foot. So if I wind up, I want to find this edge, because now everything is set here athletically for me to 
push and drive forward. So I'm here. I don't want to step with my foot forward. I want to find the edge of the foot so it's powerful. Now, when that happens, my top hand is going to slide up. My bottom hand is going to work to the bottom and to my back hip because now I'm looking for contact. I'm looking to run right through the upfield shoulder and I'm stepping forward. This foot with how it's placed allows me to drive through the shoulder and get to the middle. So I wind up, hands are up. I'm going to crow hop into it, find that edge. Bottom hand works to the bottom, top hand to the top, driving through the shoulder, and now I'm to the middle of the field. This is winding up, getting contact, getting to the middle of the field. Now we're gonna talk about under and over. This is the dance that we were talking about. What does this allow us to do? It allows us to stay dominant. It allows us to stay in that dominant hand, which for a lot of people is super important, right? So we can build this and we can go over, over to the middle. When they take away top side, we can get under. Or we can get under, carry them underneath, and now we can get over to the middle. All of this is done further out in space, but this kind of demonstrates how you're attacking the goal. You're thinking about over to under, and then you're thinking about under to then over to the middle. The windup challenges the single most important defensive principle, which is taking away top side. It immediately puts it on display. Can you take away top side? That's why in addition to the fact that it's great for beginners, great for dominant athletes, if you are excellent at winding up, you are challenging a key defensive principle, which is taking away top side. Get over, get under, wind up. Winding up with your non-dominant hand. It's not as difficult as one might think. Now, the quarter turn cradle can be a little bit tricky, but the thing that we want to focus on on your non-dominant hand side is that your dominant hand is at the bottom of the stick. So, if I wanted to do a wind up on my non-dominant side, what would I focus on? Well, first I would focus on my feet. Can I be athletic with my wind up? Can I crow hop just as well on this side? I think the answer is yes. The next thing is when I bring the stick through to one hand, what hand am I taking it to? Well, I'm taking it to my dominant hand. Now the only piece of the equation that's gonna be more difficult is the shot, right? And we'll talk about snapping in the next pillar. But ultimately, you can wind up and be successful on this side as well. So you can have this move on both sides immediately. You just need to focus on your dominant hand. So my hands are up. Am I really gonna focus on the wind up portion of it with my hands? Not really. I'm gonna focus on the athletic part with my feet. So I'm gonna crow hop, take the stick to my dominant hand, and get under. And that's how you wind up on your non-dominant side. So in pillar eight, what did we discuss? We discussed the wind up. We believe the wind up is crucial for the dominant athlete beginner and just for the beginner in general. So what we covered was adding one, two, three to motion. How we get underneath, how we get over and then how we marry the two, under and over. We also discussed how to wind up from our non-dominant side, focusing on our dominant hand. The next pillar we'll discuss will be the snap. That was winding up.